Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. Let's head down to Chapel Hill, North Carolina. We're going to talk with one half of the 174-pound bout for the NWCA All-Star Classic. Going into the Nike hot seat today, Ethan Ramos. Ethan, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, man. First interview of the day for me, and i got to believe perhaps the first interview of the day for you as well. You're an uh, invitee to... Uh, the NWCA All-Star Classic, presented by the Wrestlers and Business Network, takes place this week, Saturday night. Main event at about 7. We're getting underway at 6. Um, first of all, you were invited, what, last week? Yeah. So yeah, who, last... to who told you about the opportunity? Was it Coleman Scott, your head coach, or who was it? Yeah, it was Coleman Scott. Okay. And this is an honor. I mean, a lot of people look at this as the kickoff to the college wrestling season, this event. Um, had you ever thought about wrestling in the event? Um, yeah, I mean, because I was invited last year, and um, I was planning on going, but I had a rib problem. So, like, um, I thought about it recently. Um, I didn't really know what to think about it just because I hadn't gotten caught. I wasn't sure if, when it was, but um, I was really happy that they did ask me this time. Well, the event re features 16 returning All-Americans, and, of course, one of those is you. Uh, has some great NCAA champs in there, wrestlers from 16 different schools and six different conferences. Let's talk about your opponent, Zach Brunson from Illinois. What do you know about him? Um, not much. I mean, I, I just know what I've heard is that he's good on top and that he's a fighter. You know, there's, there's a comparison here to you guys, and you both like to put points up on the board. Um, how do you work from bottom? Um, I just get tough and be smart about it, like not try to muscle things, but um, use some technique that I've been learning. Um, but, yeah, just, just that. Well, i got to believe that, um, you know, you just don't walk into the wrestling room in the fall, October 10th, and say, hey, now i got to start working. You've probably been working all summer long, even af after the season ended last March. What have you been working on, or uh, in particular, or what have you been training? Um, well, this summer I had to get two surgeries, so I've been, uh, I, just, I was recovering mostly and just getting mentally sharp. Um, but when I came back, i just been... Um, working on trying to use like a lot of setups a lot better, more effectively. I'm trying to use the technique that I have that I'm doing really good in practice. I'm trying to translate that to actual competition um, and just get like a lot more um, better on my feet with movement um, and I guess just confidence. So like just constantly trying to score um, and be willing to take shots that uh, might seem a little bit scary, but do that. And then I'm I'm really trying to be um, a guy who can turn on top and, and get the pin when, when it's out there. It's not often you see two uh, guys named Ramos on the, this in, at the same university, but there is another Ramos there. His name's Tony Ramos, and you guys are not related, right? Yeah. Now, have you uh, had a chance to uh, work with him much? Yeah, yeah, recently. Um since he's smaller, we don't work really much at all, but um, but we worked a little bit on some positioning uh, this week, just to uh, get me ready for this. He's sharp, that's for sure. Neil Erzman, uh, uh, former Oklahoma State Cowboy, uh, another former Oklahoma State Cowboy, if you will, uh, definitely, definitely bringing it. Bryce Hassman uh, is on your coaching staff as well. Who do you work with most? Um, on the coaching staff? Yeah. Um, Probably Bryce. Bryce Hassman. Okay. Well, I remember uh, I remember his uh, time at, at the University of Buffalo. A terrific guy and a great technique guy, too. All right. So have you ever wrestled in Ohio, in particular, uh, in Cleveland and at the Wallstein Center? Um, I don't think at the Wallstein Center, but I have wrestled in Ohio. Let's talk about how long you've been wrestling overall. When, when did you start? I believe I was seven. I took one year off when I was younger to try basketball. And it wasn't me. How tall are you? I uh, like five eight. Five eight. So yeah. probably a good perimeter shooter. Uh, probably. I mean, I, I'm working. I've been working on my shot this summer a little bit when I had the chance, but 
Um, yeah, I mean that wasn't that wasn't me at the time, especially so. Stuck the rest in there. I have a I have a love for for basketball, and I got to believe you do too. But <laughs> especially being in North Carolina, you got some uh, great basketball down your neck of the woods. Uh, you're an All American as a freshman. We go back to 2015. Uh, you 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 come off. Uh, with a total, I think, 53-16 and 16 record, two years of competition in Chapel Hill. Uh, number 15 seed, uh, you finished 6 in 2015 at 165 pounds. Let's talk about that. You're going to be uh, moving up to 74, or you did move up to 74 pounds last season. How do you feel about your weight? Uh, I feel good. I mean, I got up to, like, 192 uh, max this off season, so... Um, you know, and I tried to stay heavy up until a couple of weeks ago, and um, the weights come off pretty good. Um, and I feel really strong. I feel a lot stronger than last year, um, even after the surgery. So, like, I think I'm doing what I what I need to do to do uh, right. And I feel like I feel really good right now. I look back at your career in Hawthorne, uh, New Jersey, and uh, state championship, uh, and in a in what I call, I consider a very difficult one class uh, high school state tournament, um, and then of course your junior championship. You had a second place finish at the Flow Nationals as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're going to bring all that with you to join me and and so many other wrestling fans are expecting uh, quite a good crowd. And uh, do you do you like wrestling in front of a lot of people? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't have any problem that uh, I feel like it's kind of the same, but. Um, yeah, I just don't really think about it. I just try to like focus on just wrestling for God. And so like when I see all of that, I just kind of see one person out there. Well, I know that perhaps last year, even coming in as a number four seed with your record intact, 22 and five, it was not the way you wanted to end it. Uh, surely not New York city that close to home, but, uh, uh, perhaps this is your year. I'm excited to see you compete, uh, fully, uh, fully healthy going to be fun yeah thanks yeah i'm i'm excited for it too i want to remind you folks the 51st edition of the all-star classic presented by the brewer garrett company and hosted by the wrestlers and business network it's underway november 5th at the wolstein center cleveland state university bounce get underway at six matches are at seven tickets are available they start at 15 bucks by the way and uh, the hundred dollar preferred there are a few of those still available look for discount uh, coupons at uh, northeast ohio discount drug marts all the information can be found online at goallstarclassic.com or over the Wolstein Center box office. Give them a call. Streaming will take place with trackwrestling.com, our friends there. It's our pleasure to have had a very special guest early this morning in the Nike hot seat. He's Ethan Ramos from North Carolina. Going to bring that to uh, North Carolina. What, what do you, you guys have a special name for the color? It's not, is it North Carolina blue? Uh, yeah, it's Carolina blue. Carolina blue. Let's take out the north. Yeah, Carolina blue. It's a big color. I love that color. 174 pound, one half. He'll face Zach Brunson this Saturday night. Ethan, thanks for taking the time. Special thanks to uh, your coaches too, uh, especially especially Neil Ayersman for helping to make this uh, interview possible. Surely appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.